Hi, my name is Hector Arroyo, and I'm a system applications engineer at Analog Devices. And today, I'm going to talk to you about the industrial connectivity solutions that Analog Devices has for the digital factory. Today, we're going to learn about the industrial connectivity technologies that go from software configurable IO link, industrial Ethernet, including the single pair long reach Ethernet, and TSN switches. We are also going to talk about the add on features that Analog Devices portfolio includes for diagnostics in the field. The Digital Factory is a factory in which sensors, actuators, controllers on the OT, and also devices in the IT domain are bridged together and share data, where you have seamless connectivity from the sensor, from the edge, all the way to the cloud, and you can apply analytics to all of that data to make your factory more productive and more efficient. Industrial connectivity in a factory must be robust. And this is in terms of EMI, so electromagnetic interference. This is in terms of a wide temperature range that it has to operate at. It has to operate long hours without interruption. All of this with deterministic timing and low latency. The digital factory improves sustainability by increasing productivity and making the factory more efficient by applying analytics to all the data that flows from the sensors. The benefits of the digital factory is that by having the seamless connectivity from the edge to the cloud and having an increase of data flowing from the sensors where the data is generated, you can apply analytics and figure out how your factory is operating. Therefore, figure out optimum times, therefore figure out if something is going to fail and be able to apply preventive maintenance and therefore reduce downtime. And all of this makes your factory more productive, more efficient, and therefore reducing energy consumption. In an old factory, many of the sensors are analog sensors, and therefore there's no much more than you can transmit other than the actual sensor's data. You cannot know much about diagnostics in the sensor. You cannot know much about what's happening, plus the amount of data that you can read from the sensor is limited because the bandwidth is limited. The benefits of upgrading to digital connectivity technologies in a factory is on one, sensors are not prone to noise because now your, your link is digital. Two, you have an increase of data flowing from the edge to the cloud seamlessly. Three, you can apply analytics to all of this data to make your factory more productive, more efficient. Industrial Ethernet is a standardized way of communication between two or more devices in a network. And there's many flavors of it. It can be wired, wireless, it can be over fiber optics. There's many flavors of it. The main difference between this Ethernet to traditional Ethernet that most people would be used to in the office or at home is the robustness across electromagnetic interferences, a wider temperature range, and also deterministic timing, low latency. Many applications are time critical such as motion control, and therefore they need low latency and deterministic timing to make sure that events happen exactly when they're expected and that the control mechanism acts accordingly. One of the most relevant Ethernet protocols at the moment is 10 t one l which is based on the IEEE 802.3 CG standard. And 10 t one l is a technology that allows long-reach connectivity over a single pair of wires, up to one kilometer. A single pair wire cable is exactly two wires. A normal Ethernet cable would be four pairs of wires, meaning eight wires or four wires at the very least. And so single pair Ethernet then poses a big advantage by reducing from eight to two wires in most applications while keeping a long reach and 10 megabit per second full duplex. You can reach up to one kilometer with 10 base t one l single pair Ethernet. And in cases, you can reach further than one kilometer. You can reach 1.7 kilometer with analog devices, 10 based T1L solutions. Another big advantage of 10 based T1L is that it enables the deployment of sensors in intrinsically safe zones, explosive zones zero, one, and two. This is a huge advantage compared to other Ethernet technologies that wouldn't allow you to deploy sensors in those explosive environments for process control applications. Analog Devices has the broadest portfolio in the industry and it's three devices. 
One device, the ADAN1100, which is a typical PHY with a MAC interface, which can be RMII, MII, or RGMII. A MAC PHY device, which includes the MAC inside of the same chip and uses SPI to communicate to the host. And in this case, this allows to choosing lower power microcontrollers that all they need is an SPI interface. And we also have a two port switch, which is two 10 base T1L ports and an SPI port, therefore allowing or enabling to have line or ring topologies with a single chip. Along with each of these 10 base T1L devices, ADI offers a wide set of diagnostic capabilities for the field, which can be used for commissioning, for preventive or corrective maintenance. One of the most important one is the time domain electrometry engine that is on chip on each of these devices that can be used to find opens and shorts along a cable and tell you the exact location of the fault with an accuracy of better than 2%. Think about having a long cable, a one kilometer cable spread all over a factory in an industrial environment, could be exposed to humidity, could be exposed to mechanical interaction, could be exposed to all sorts of factors that will or could eventually create a fault. Now, if, if a fault occurs in a cable and you have to send a technician to find that fault, you can imagine how tedious, how expensive this would be. Now, using analog devices TDR engine, you can actually run this diagnostics algorithm, and you can find exactly where the fault is. So then you tell the, te the technician, go find the fault at that exact location. The fault detection that comes along with this TDR engine is highly accurate within 2% of error, anywhere from zero to 1600 meters, and a resolution of better than one meter. So you can resolve a fault within one meter in a one long kilometer cable. This demo is showing various industrial connectivity solutions that go from IO-Link, software configurable I.O., and industrial Ethernet, which in this case is combining a TSN switch with Gigabit Ethernet and Ethernet APL at the bottom. One of the things I would like to get across is that Ethernet APL and 10 base T1L are two words or two phrases that cannot be used interchangeably. Although Ethernet APL is based on a 10 base T1L physical layer, Ethernet APL adds extra restrictions, extra requirements for IE device to be able to be deployed in explosive zones 0, 1, and 2. While 10 base T1L is a more generic physical layer definition that can be used across any industry, process control, factory automation, or any other application that you may think of. Both Ethernet APL and 10 base T1L use the exact same data link, meaning they both are single per Ethernet. They, they use the exact same transceiver. One of the key offerings in analog devices portfolio is the time sensitive network switches that can be a three port or a six port switch. In this case, we have in the demo, the six port switch ADAN6310 combining Ethernet, uh, gigabit Ethernet and Ethernet APL at the same time, running Ethernet IP and Profinet IP, showing the seamless connectivity between two different pro industrial protocols across the same Ethernet network. For legacy analog sensors, analog devices has software configurable IOs, such as the AD74412R, which allows you to configure on the fly each port to do analog measurements, digital measurements, or digital output, or analog output. On the last bit here, we have IO-Link, which is a widely adopted industrial protocol to communicate between two devices. This is a plug and play, and also allowing bidirectional communication, so not only the sensor's data is transmitted through the, through the link, but also diagnostic and device information. The industrial connectivity solutions that analog devices offer range from software configurable I.O., I.O. link, industrial Ethernet, including TSN switches, single per phase, and traditional Ethernet that provide robust communication with low latency, deterministic timing, and scalability. The importance of using these technologies in the factory is to increase the data 
flowing from the sensors to the cloud in a seamless way and have a variety of industrial particles running in the same network without the need of any gateways. All of this can be used to apply analytics over all of this data, increased data, and make your factory more productive and more efficient, therefore reducing energy consumption. For more information, visit mauser.com slash ADI or check out the description in this video. Thanks for watching.